today we gotta make a four hour trip two hours there two hours back to go see monkey's doctor so in the meantime the air conditioner is leaking on the car so like when i recharge it it lasts maybe two days so it's got a significant leak so i got this stuff to find the leak it'll charge it up and it will find the leak it's got this little uv pen ultraviolet pen light So that'll help me find, so when we get home tonight, it'll be dark, so that'll help me find the leak wherever this is leaking at. So this thing, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my gauge, because see how long the, the hose is for it, because these things, you want to shake them a little bit, and where that is... The low pressure side is way down inside there. It's down right beside the, the oil filter. So what you want to do is you squeeze it. And like every 15 seconds, you want to go like this. Sometimes shake it a little bit. Um, but so we're going to do that real quick. I'll film some of this trip with you, but and then tonight we'll look for the uh, the leak together with that little light, and we should be able to should glow a green color wherever it's leaking at. I hope it's not the compressor, not because it's expensive. Compressors for these are only like 112 bucks, but because it's so hard to get to. I mean, it'd take me hours to get to that. I mean, it's clear way down underneath the front of this thing but so it says this is the R134A so it contains UV dye to detect AC leaks now the, the last two times I charged that I did put a uh, sealer in it and it didn't work so it didn't matter to me whether this had sealer in it or not so this is the r134a so and then i want to check the transmission fluid and do all that stuff i won't bore you with that but let's uh it's got cool boost technology colder air faster oh it does have it does say it stops leaks i know you can't probably see that but it does say stops leaks so this has got rear air so it takes a lot more than say our little truck over there or a regular car so i might have to use both of these but we'll see so i'll get you over here the best i can we'll get this put on i won't be able to show you that because it's way down in there all you do is you take the little cap off the schrader valve and then you'll squeeze this back like that pop it on there give it a tug make sure it's on there good and tight then we're going to screw this on we're going to start it up and we're going to screw this on to it like that and then we'll start charging it and filling it up so let's get you over here um i gotta stand there so but sorry got a loud diesel coming up through here Yes, it sounds pretty labored because it's a Ford. Eight Fords. But, yeah, it's way down there. I don't know if you can see that oil filter. But it's way down there, right beside that oil filter. And the AC compressor's way down in there. So as you can see, you know, then we got a whole bunch of lines back in there we've got to check all them lines out for leaks and in there we've got the condenser to check it for leaks but we'll do that tonight when it's dark out so first thing we want to do 
is take this cap off. And you can't get it mixed up. There's only one size. So you won't you won't mix it up. Uh, like it won't fit on this one up here. So this is the high pressure line. Right, there's the high pressure line. I'll show you. It won't fit. So you can't mix them up. Okay, so I want to reach down in here and slide this on. So the car hasn't been running today. So that way it's not real hot. I got my gauge screwed on there. All right. Now, I'm going to go in here and start this up. Turn the air on full blast with the recirculation button on. going to squeeze this and hold this trigger and then I'm just going to flip it about every 30 seconds I'm going to let go of the trigger and see if it's charged and you'll hear it kicking on and off I'm going to do that because it could take up to 15 minutes then I'll be back with you okay guys so there we got to put in I got to go get some more regular Freon and put in it and top, top it off because the gauge was still reading low. It takes a lot of Freon in that thing. Um, so we're going to put some some more Freon in it and then we're going to hit the road. We got to stop and get gas. You can hear it cycling. It shouldn't be cycling like that because it's really hot out here. So I'll be back with you when we're on the road. Okay guys, so we got the air charged back up. We're hitting the road, getting ready to... Well, we're in town we're getting ready to head out of town right now so I did get there working hopefully that'll be enough to get us down there and back I mean if we have to stop on the way back I don't care I'll put some more in it yeah I, I mean you know That's it's comfort. sweltering yeah comfort and you don't I don't know that. what the temperature is 90 it's 90 degrees that's not the real feel I don't know what the real feel is probably close to 100 or better and then you're working around a hot engine, you know, got to stand there and hold that trigger. But tonight we'll be able to see where the leak is at, so that'll be good. There's the old courthouse. They used to have a life-size picture of Elvis in the window, like a cardboard cutout. I think they moved it to another window, but that's that's where he made, he made part of a scene in his movie was filmed there so at least we got air hopefully at least hopefully it'll get us there and then I can fill it back up if we have to just to get it home you know it's a lot of free on expensive doing it that way but man it's hot <laughs> um, so all right guys I'll be back with you okay guys so monkey wasn't in the mood for pizza so we stopped at Mooyas nice yeah it's supposed to be 71 booyah so you're fine though okay. i got the uh swiss mushroom swiss they have it patty melt i seen that after order i think i'll get that to go <laughs> that looks good all right guys i'll be back with you
we got our little light here now this is for me of course but there's a bunch of it down in there that could be where I took it off the of the line but up in here down in there and you see all that green see that all over them lines up here on this box way down in there looks pretty bad so I am guessing that it's going to be the um, there we go I'm guessing it's going to be the AC compressor so when I get into that I'll check it again when I can get up underneath there and make sure because I can't get you guys up under there but I'll check it again and if that's what it is then like I said it's $112 to put put one on a couple hours of my time they are kind of a pain you got to pull the front wheel off and the inner fender well and all that stuff but just kind of time consuming it's not really super hard but anyway thanks for joining me guys and thanks for joining me on my live stream so anyway that's how you can tell <laughs> if you got a leak put that die in there so all right i'm gonna head in the house i'll see you guys in the next one thanks again everyone shea bear the myth the man legend i'm gone for now oh monkey she's gotta go back in three months so and if it's not better then they gotta manipulate her arm so you know that's pretty painful so anyway keep her in your thoughts and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye everyone take care okay one more thing for those of you that know me know that i like things that do more than one thing this little pen light is also a pen Work. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it works. Cool. Had to show you that. Take care.